This idea just came to mind the other day while I was exploring a project and I thought it would look pretty cool and it would make a really great animated background. So let me show you how to do it. First of all, we're going to add a fusion composition into our timeline. We're going to click on these and we're going to add a background node. Set this to be the color that you want. In this case, gray. Here we're going to press Ctrl C on this background and then press Ctrl Shift V to create an instance. You can already connect this background here so that it creates a merge node. On this instance, we're going to add an ellipse mask. Now on this instance, we're going to add a transform node. So press Ctrl and spacebar and add a transform node. On this transform node, we are going to set a few keyframes. Now don't worry if you don't see anything while we're setting up these keyframes because that's going to come out later with the drop shadows that are going to allow you to see what's happening. So on frame zero, we're going to create a size keyframe here at one. Then we're going to go one second forward. We're going to set the, the size to 1.1. Then we're going to go one second forward again. So frame 48. And we're going to bring this back to normal. And then we're going to go like half a second forward and then create an extra key from here for, the for our initial position. And you're going to see why when we create a loop for this. Okay, now that we have that there, we press play and nothing happens. But if you select all of them, you will see that it's happening. So we're going to press Ctrl and Spacebar and we're going to add a drop shadow. And we're going to adjust this drop shadow. Okay, now this drop shadow, we're going to bring the distance closer to the center. And we're going to bring the shadow strength to zero at frame zero. And we're going to bring the blur to 0.25. We're going to create a key from right here for the blur and the, drop, the shadow strength. Now we're going to go to frame 24, bring the strength to 0.5. And then the blur to 0.55 again. We're going to go one second forward. Bring this down again. And then bring the shadow blur or the blur to 0.25. Same values as before. And we're going to go again one second or have a second forward. And then create those keyframes right there. If we take a look, we have that sort of like pulsating uh, effect going on. Okay, now with these two nodes that have our keyframe selected, we're going to go to the spline section and we're going to press Ctrl A to select them all and then press F to ease them in and out. Here you can adjust the ease in and out values however you want. And then we have that there. After that, we're going to go to the loop section, which is this one. Now here you can either choose ping pong or loop. Both of them are going to look a little bit different. So ping pong will have a little bit longer delay because it's basically reversing and loop will basically start at zero from the beginning. So choose whichever you want. The animation will now be repeating itself. OK, so let's create the copies that we have here. We're going to press Ctrl and spacebar and we're going to add a time speed node. We're going to connect this drop shadow to our time speed node. And on this time speed, we're going to set the speed to 1, but we're going to set the delay to 5. Now this time speed, we're going to connect here in between, so behind our background node. On this merge node, we're going to set this to 2, and now we have already that second one. We can actually just copy this time speed again and paste it there. We're going to connect our drop shadow here for a third copy, but in this case, we're going to set the delay to 10. We're going to connect these here again behind and set the merge node to three. Well, this is not set in stone, so you can adjust the values, right? But if we press play right now, you have that cool sort of like pulsating effect. So yeah, now you have this super cool animated background that you can use on your projects or as the outro screen for your YouTube videos. And if you want to download the projects files for this video, go to suave.com and then find it right there. And that is today's video. Come back tomorrow for more.